What's up everyone? Welcome on in. All right, today we're doing a video. I genuinely could not decide. There were so many routes I wanted to take this video that I couldn't decide what to call it. So I've called it something along the lines of like makeup that is hyped up. Like, is it worth the hype? Slash, if you got a gift card for the holidays, here are things I would recommend you spend them on, you know? So I'm excited to share all this with you. You'll see me put on a lot of this stuff so you get to actually see it in action, how I personally use it and what it looks like when you're applying it. So it's just a whole bunch of goodies, you guys. And it's pretty much everything for a full face and then some, like I have a couple of foundation recommendations, a couple of eyeshadow things, but we'll get into it. So I did wanna take a second to thank today's video sponsor, which is Karma, which is a free app and Chrome extension that helps make sure that you never miss a price drop or a coupon code. I have the link right at the top of the description box. It's totally free to download. So I've used Karma, which used to be known as Shop Tagger. I've used Karma for like four or five years, a very long time. And I love it because you can even use it to plan things like holiday shopping. There were a few items I was wanting to get for my husband, Tyler, for Christmas. And I knew about them, you know, months ago, they were kind of on my radar. So I added them to my karma list and I was able to be notified when one of them was like 20% off. So I bought it right then and there, got it ahead of time and I saved money on it because otherwise I was just gonna buy it full price. So it's really, really cool for that. But it's also cool because like for me, I love makeup and that's something that I'd rather not pay full price for it if I don't have to. So I've got my own little list on Karma where I can save items I'm thinking about buying and then they'll notify me when it goes on sale or if there's a coupon code that's relevant, I can use it, check out and save money that way too. So it's really easy to use. On your computer, you can download the Karma Chrome extension. So then you can visit any of your favorite stores online and when you see an item you want to save, you can click the button or slider to save it. You can also do this on the mobile app, which is really cool and super convenient. So then you can get notifications via email or mobile push notification when an item that you've saved either goes on sale, whether it has a relevant coupon code, or if it goes back in stock, which is really, really helpful because there's a lot of makeup items I want and I can't buy because they're not in stock. <laughs> so the way I've kind of organized it over the years is I have like my wish list and I have my old favorites, things I buy every few months or once a year. And it's great because I can save my items to there. Anytime it goes on sale, I can buy, especially those things I know I'm buying again and again. I'd much rather wait to save some money. So that has been a great tool for that. Plus Karma will scan for coupon codes and apply them automatically at checkout, which is really cool and that is a special feature that only works on the computer like on their chrome extension so i definitely recommend downloading both versions because sometimes i'm shopping on my phone and sometimes i'm shopping on my computer so it really is nice to kind of have both ways to save to the same list you know and when you're shopping at some of their select retail partners karma will give cash back to you as well as to a good cause which i think is so freaking cool so if you want to use karma's shopping assistant you can get the chrome extension with the link right at the top of my description box and you can start saving your items, getting organized. And you know, the video I'm doing today is obviously about like hyped up products and stuff. This would be a great time to try it out because if there are like two or three items I mentioned that you're like, ooh, that looks good. You can save it to your Karma account and then wait buy it when it goes on sale, or maybe if it's something that's out of stock, buy it once it's back in stock too. And if you are actually using a gift card, you're making that gift card money stretch even farther too. So I think that's just bonus points, you know? So again, you can download Karma with the link below. Thank you so much Karma for sponsoring this portion of the video. I'm gonna go in order of how I apply these things to my face. So when we talk about like a moisturizer, I really didn't get into skincare in this video because that could be its own separate video. So if you'd be curious to see like skincare products that are worth the hype, let me know because I would love to do that. But I, I was like, if I combine that in this, this video will be like 40,000 years long. So one thing that kind of stood out because I keep it with my makeup and not necessarily like with skincare is this. This is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This is something that is a beautiful daytime moisturizer and it works really well under makeup. So I treat this almost like a primer. I keep it in my primer drawer, even though it's absolutely a standalone moisturizer. So I think the reason it is magic to me is because it doesn't make your makeup sit weird. It really just hydrates the skin. And if you have like normal to dry skin like me, you need this kind of thing. You know what I mean? Especially for me, winter time, I really need it like around my nose and stuff. And this just really seems to kind of keep everything moisturized throughout the day while my makeup's on top of it and it just looks nice. So this typically comes in a jar. So if this doesn't look familiar, this is like a smaller size I bought. I really wish they made like a larger amount in the squeezy tube because it's just a little more hygienic and it's just easy to use too. So 
Bobby Brown, I'm sure you're not watching, but if you are, please make this just like in a larger, like a primer, you know? Put it in a tube. I would love that. That'd be great. Okay, so next I'd go in with foundation. This is a newer one, and I was like, Jessica, is it really fair to mention this here because it is so new to you? And there are a few items here that are new, but I don't care. It's so good, and I've used it like every day since I bought it. It's the Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation. So there are two versions of this. There's the original Synchro Skin and the Radiant. This is the Radiant. I've not tried the original, but knowing my taste anyway, I like something to be a little more luminous or radiant. And so this is what, I mean, there's a reason I bought this one and not the other. This may be the prettiest foundation I've ever used. I'm wearing it today. It's got medium to full coverage, kind of depending on how many layers you put on. I ended up doing basically two layers in the end, but it has SPF of 30 in it. I just think this makes my skin look perfected. I almost said perfectified. <laughs> Definitely not a word, but I just feel like it makes it look so nice. The trickiest thing will be with, and this is true for any higher coverage foundation, is finding a shade match that works. This I think is as close as I'm gonna get. I've talked a lot about recently how, you know, if your chest and neck is just slightly a different color, like if it throughout the day changes from like red or pink to like less red, it's really hard to get your face to match it. So unless you're bringing your foundation all the way down, you know what I mean? That's why I love turtlenecks. I keep saying it, but it's true. Like I love turtlenecks because you can't tell if it matches or not. This is so good, you guys. It's so beautiful. Yes, it's expensive, but y'all, if you've got that gift card and you've been wanting to try a really, really good foundation, I highly recommend it. It says it's radiant. I don't know that I, I mean, my face looks a little more radiant because you'll see I've got a highlighter and stuff on that you'll see in a minute, but I just think it makes your skin look healthy. It does, it's not an oily foundation. It's not a super glowy. So I feel like even if you had oily skin, you might not hate this, but definitely more for the normal to dry. I've heard the original one is really good too. So if you are more oily, you might just try the original, but love, love, love this stuff. Probably goes without saying, all of these things are more expensive items. If this is like the first video of mine you're watching, I do a lot of like drugstore dupes videos and stuff. I'll link my playlist, cause it's, I mean, I'm, I'm a drugstore girl, girl at heart, so I, I got you. So if you're after this like, okay, I need to watch something that's not like talking about $50 foundations, go check some of those out. And I actually have a dupes, another, a new grouping of dupes coming up in a few weeks. So subscribe and stay tuned for that. Other foundation I wanted to recommend is one that I wear a lot for like special, like if it's a date night or like we're going to a play or whatever, a special event. Those are, we're more often doing those kinds of special events like a date than we are like going to like some big, you know, ball. Never been to a ball. It's the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. It's just really pretty. I would say it's pretty similar to the Shiseido. So there's a reason I ended up liking this. They're similar. But this one I think has slightly more coverage and I think it is less radiant, which is funny because this is natural radiant. It's a little more mattifying. I still wouldn't consider this a like mattifying foundation, but this is not super glowy. So if you're kind of torn between the two and you want a little more coverage and a little less radiance, you might like this one better. They're both stunning. Honestly, if I were blindfoldedly using them, I think I might be able to tell the difference, but they're they're pretty similar. And it could be more of like you find a better shade match for yourself in one line versus the other because I think price-wise, they're right around the same. Two different concealers. These two picks are not gonna surprise you if you saw my concealer declutter video, because I share, like, my all-time favorite concealer is this one. It is also from Shiseido. I don't even wanna hear it. No, I'm not sponsored. I bought both of these by my own money. Shiseido, if you're listening, holla, but... <laughs> no, these are just genuinely, and they look, they work so well together. This is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Concealer. <sighs> This is truly a top tier, like if you have tried so many concealers and you are just tired of spending money on concealer because you feel like none of them satisfy you the way you need to be satisfied in that under eye area, give this a try if you can swing it because it is just perfect. It's like medium-ish coverage. I obviously, I used it today. It will sink in a little bit to lines like anything, but the magic of this is, not only is it just beautiful and it blends in quickly, but if you start to see it sinking in, you can just kind of tap it and it just sinks right back into place. That's where that self-refreshing name comes in. It is so amazing, so beautiful. I think it covers a decent amount. I really do. And it wears really well throughout the day. So that is my favorite concealer. But a very close second for differing reasons is this. This is the Bobbi Brown Corrector. I have it in light bisque. They have a lot of different shades. I've gone through many of these. I typically just get it on my finger and then tap it in, you know, the under eye area. And I've got a lot of blue and purple right there. And I know a lot of us do. 
this is the perfect thing to combat that. It just looks so fresh and awake. I'll wear this alone a lot. Some people will pair this with another more traditional concealer. I just wear this alone and it's beautiful. It has a surprising amount of coverage for something like that. And it's not dry. I feel like a lot of concealers in like pot format can be like dry. This one is not at all. And I think that's why I love it so much. I just tap it in and it's like blended in like that. It stays, it's pretty, it looks healthy. 18 thumbs up. So for my brows, I actually don't have anything to recommend right now because honestly, most of my favorite brow products are from the drugstore. So I didn't want to like force something here. I use the e.l.f. Wow Brow, which I absolutely love, if you were curious. I have three powders to mention. And I was like, Jessica, that's maybe too many powders, but I'm like, you know what? I love all three of these. So we're, and all three of them serve very different purposes. So let's get into it. Let's start with one that you might not have heard me talk about a lot, but I've been using a lot the past month or two and loving. It's from Bare Minerals. It's their original mineral veil. So it's, it's a pressed powder. It doesn't have a crazy amount of coverage. It really is meant to be a setting powder. I have fallen in love with this as my under eye setting powder. It just flattens the area. I mean, I feel like my under eyes look pretty nice. I really do. And when I use this, that's the way I like to see them. I have another one we're going to recommend in a second that I, I might recommend over this, to be honest, if you're just going to probably buy one. But I wanted to mention this anyway, because it's a really good setting powder for the T-zone too. I don't always use powder like that, but I always use an under eye setting powder. And this one has been very, very pretty. So I guess this makes four powders. This, it, I guess I should have mentioned this with the concealers. It's Bare Minerals and it is their like loose powder concealer. And I have it in the shade Bisque. Oh my gosh. So this was more of a like, I used to love it. And then like mine got really old. So I didn't have it for a while. And then I repurchased it and was like, this will give you the brightest, most awake under eyes. And I'm, I'm kicking myself for not using this today instead of the Bare Minerals. Well, I'm just now realizing they're both Bare Minerals. Anyway, this just brightens it so much. Now they have another one called Well Rested. And that, I wanna say like Emily Noel loves that because again, that's like a super brightening, but I like that you can get different shades that are closer to like your skin tone because I don't want it to be like bright, 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 bright under there, but I do like it to look brighter. And this does exactly that. But on top of that, I think the reason I love it, I am struggling to like get thoughts out today, y'all. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're catching me at a bad time. <laughs> I think the reason I love this is because if I'm using a concealer that maybe is not doing it for me or it's just kind of wearing off weird, this will kind of fill in the gaps. Like if there's any places that the concealer didn't quite cover the way I want, this does have coverage, but it also sets it. So it's, it's, it's good, y'all. It is really good. So the other powders is, okay, the Kosas Cloud Set Powder. Y'all already knew. I was going to mention this. Lots of YouTubers love it. It is very hyped up for a reason. I have it in Feathery. This is a beautiful, just all over the face, all in the under eye. Like, it works for everything. So if you're wanting one powder to do it all, this is the one. And I really do feel like it blurs the pores. It's like as close as you can get to like an Instagram filter in a powder. It really does blur the area. So I have loved this. I've got a nice little dent in my little dome there. <laughs> it's just really good. There's a reason people are talking about it. But if you want one that has more coverage, because the Kosas is not like a coverage type powder, the Huda Beauty Glowish Powder, I'm loving. Now, huge caveat here. This is the Luminous Press Powder. If you don't like Luminous, like if you don't want that, this is not going to be the powder for you. So I'll just tell you that right now. I really like it. I don't think it looks like glowy and I feel like I pack it on pretty well. Now, if I were going in with a straight up like sponge and putting it on, it probably would like show through, but I think it just ends up looking nice. I don't notice like super detectable shimmer, but there definitely is a little glow to the skin, which I prefer. So I really like it. I like that it gives some more coverage too. And yeah, love it. I'm only mentioning one bronzer today. This is one that got a lot of traction when it first was launched by the brand Say. It's the Sun Melt Cream Bronzer. If you are someone like me, I've got a lot of cream bronzers, but some of them are so pigmented that you have to be so careful and then you're blending forever. And then this is not like that. This, I can go to town on my face and it still looks like this really nice diffused amount of bronzer. I don't know what kind of like witchcraft is in this thing, but it is really, really good, you guys. So I like to use it with my trusty Eco Tools blending and bronzing brush. I can link below, it's like eight bucks. It is perfect for cream bronzer, especially this one. This is my favorite cream bronzer at the moment and it has been for a while and I had forgotten about it for like, like last month and I pulled it back out, I'm like, 
I was like, because I kept thinking like, gosh, I feel like I'm in a cream bronzer rut. And then I found this again. I'm like, oh, that's why, because this is the best and it's the only one I ever want to use. A couple of blush recommendations, the Stila Convertible Color. These have been around and hyped for years. And I have two shades. I have Peony and Lilium. I could not find. I've been trying to find it for a while. I have no idea where it is. But what I do know is that this is one of easily my favorite cream blushes ever, ever, ever. Because you can apply it with your fingers, with the brush, with the sponge, and it always looks pretty. This is like a makeup artist favorite. And I heard on, I always want to say Downton Abbey. No. What is the other show that was recent? Bridgerton. The shade Lilium in this line is what they used on like Daphne or Phoebe. Uh oh, <laughs> I always confuse those names. Anyway, the main girl. It always just looks so pretty and natural. And that is exactly what this does. So this is the shade Peony that I'm wearing today. And I love that I can just tap it on with my fingers. It blends in like that. It stays on a weird amount of time. For a cream blush that you'd think would wear off, I've worn masks with this and it doesn't wear off. Like it's, <laughs> it's really good, you guys. I would say out of Peony and Lilium, if you're near my skin tone, I like Lilium better, but they're very close. Also, look up swatches of, like if you're looking at other shades, because at least on Ulta's website, when I've looked at these, the colors, the way they look online are no, like nothing like what they look like in person, not even close. So definitely look up swatches on like bloggers, you know, sites, because those are gonna be way more trustworthy when you're picking out a color. So speaking of swatches, something that does not swatch well at all, but works really well when you're applying it with a brush as you would, is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blushes. I've fallen back in love with these. These were hyped up like a decade ago. And then I feel like no one was really talking about them. And now I just, for whatever reason, am like back, back in with them, baby. I have Natural Beauty, which is a really pretty kind of wintry pink, wintry red on the cheeks. And then my favorite, which is Captivating, which is the Perfect Peach. That's how I always describe it, but it's true. These are just so long lasting on the skin. Again, if you're wearing a mask, don't even worry about these. They're not gonna be going anywhere. They last forever. I remember way back, well, I mean, it wasn't that long ago, but when I was teaching and I had one of these, this was like the blush I knew I could put on and it would look exactly the same. Like if we had evening, conferences or something like that. This was the blush I was trusting because I knew it would be on there by the end of the day. So totally worth the hype. I definitely tend to gravitate towards the ones that don't have the shimmer in them, but they do have really pretty shimmer ones. You know what I'm saying? But I, these are both like they're matte or whatever. So two highlighters. The one I'm wearing today is one that is so good and now I've loved for years. It's the MAC Double Gleam Extra Dimension Skin Finish. I think I would just recommend any of the MAC Extra Dimension skin finishes. I just, Double Gleam is the one that Miss Arna Elaine introduced me to years ago and that I love for my skin tone. So they're just the perfect highlighter, you guys. These powders are so seamless on the skin. They don't look powdery, but they give you that, like what you want if you're putting a highlighter on, like they give you that look. And I have to say, I've tried a lot of powder highlighters over the years. This is one that continually withstands the test of time for me because it just is that good. And think about it. This is something that if you're buying, it's gonna last you a very long time because a little bit goes a long way. You know, you're gonna have this forever. But another one I love, and I feel like I mentioned in every video like this, but it is that good, is the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wands that they have. So they have highlighters, they have blushes, and then they also have the contour wand. I love all of them. I just grabbed this one to show you today. All of them have this packaging, very polarizing. Some people love, some people don't. You can squeeze it into the little sponge. You could tap it directly in and blend it in with your finger. You could use a brush, a sponge. Typically what I'll do is I'll just get it on my finger from there and tap it on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> The prettiest highlighter. I get more compliments about my highlighter when I wear this than any other one. I would say the only downside is, you know, you don't use a lot and this has lasted me a while, but you will run out of this. Like you will use this up versus like a powder's gonna last you longer. So when you're thinking bang for your buck and how long, like how far it will go, I do think this is absolutely stunning and I still recommend it, but you will eventually run out of this. Whereas this, you, you're probably never gonna run out of. So those are my two favorite highlighters. Moving in to, I'm trying to think of what I haven't mentioned yet, like eyes, okay. I was very picky about what I mentioned here. So first thing is the MAC Paint Pot and Painterly. This was another rediscovery recently. I've been using this so much, like, Honestly, lately, I've just not been wearing eyeshadow and I'll just put this on. Okay, for example, I'll put on my concealer and it will start creasing like in my eyelid. You know what I mean? That's not really that big of a deal. I'll usually go in with eyeshadow and it kind of sets it down and it doesn't matter. 
But if I'm trying to have a no eyeshadow day and just do like liner and mascara, lately I've been using this and it's great because it soaks up that concealer so it doesn't crease. It's also a great eye primer in general if you are gonna put eyeshadow on top, which is what I did today. But it's just perfect because it really evens out and kind of covers like any little veining and discoloration I might have in this area and makes it look like a totally blank canvas, which is great for either eyeshadow application after or just to stand on its own. And that's how I've been using it and I love it. So I wanted to mention it because I haven't talked about paint pots in years and they really are so good. I just definitely feel like it's the trendy thing to not wear eyeshadow and just have like a bold liner and mascara with it. You know what I mean? Eyeshadow. Here's one I haven't talked about a ton, but I love it and I've heard a lot of YouTubers mention. It's the Little Kaja Trios. This is the one in Chocolate Dahlia that I've heard the most about, which is why I bought it in the first place, you know, a year or two ago. This is so pretty. So I'm wearing these eyeshadows on my eyes today. The top one is like a really pretty shimmery ivory color, then more of like a medium, light to medium brown, and then a nice, deeper brown, the simplest, easiest eye look. And I feel like it looks so nice. Like it looks like a very, very expensive palette. The one thing is, you know, when you're comparing, okay, the price of this and what you're getting, just three shadows versus like, well, I could get a whole palette and have tons of different colors. The question I always ask myself is, will I use enough of the colors like in a palette though, to make it worth even that? Would I be better off buying a smaller quad or trio or something of colors that I will actually use all of them? And in this case, I actually use all of them. They're so, so good. They blend easily too. So wanted to mention this one in Chocolate Dahlia because it is so freaking good and it is super travel friendly. And there's a little mirror on top. <laughs> so cute. They have other colorways too. So if like that colorway doesn't speak to you, they have other ones, of course. The next one is from Charlotte Tilbury. If you've been around a while, you know what I'm gonna say. The Pillow Talk Quad, I'll go quickly. It's one that, it's probably one of like two or three eyeshadow palettes, if you will that I've repurchased. That is very rare. For me and my skin tone, it's perfect. I can put this all over the lid, these two in the crease, and then tap that on top for like an extra shimmery look, especially like if it's like nighttime and I'm vibing on the glitter. <laughs> it's just perfect. And then like the brown in here is beautiful right on the lower lash line. Like it's just an all-in-one little palette, a little quad that I love. They have a ton of quads in this line. I have only tried a few. Like one of the ones I tried was more of a dud. It was one that had like purples in it, but all of the other ones I have tried are really good. So I feel like the odds are that if you find a colorway you like, it's gonna be good. Pillow Talk is definitely my favorite. They do a Pillow Talk palette of pops where all of them are shimmery. This is the one that has a shimmer, a glitter top coat, and then two mattes, just so you know. It is expensive. It is lovely. If you are looking for like the one you use every single day, that might be worth looking into that line. And then a newer one that is so good is from Natasha Denona. Totally hyped up, totally worth it. The Glam Palette. Y'all, every shade in this is beautiful. There's a great mix of mattes and shimmers. Like it's just a really good palette. Again, just asking yourself, will I use these shades? Cause it's definitely more of a cool tone palette. They do have a little bit of warmth, which I appreciate. So you can kind of mix it into it, but it's just really good. It's got a good mirror. You would not be upset, I think, if you bought this, especially if they're shades you like. If you spent a gift card on this and got it in the mail and played with it, you won't be upset that you bought it. That's how I'll word it. <laughs> so, I'm only mentioning one eyeliner. Honestly, as I looked at my eyeliners that I had, I have lots that I love, but this is one that's newer to me that's really stood out that I'm like, it's actually really, really good. It's the Urban Decay 24-7 Waterline Eyeliner. So when I first bought this, I was looking at the reviews and a few people were like, it's not very good. Like, But it sounded like across the board, people were like, you have to, like, once you put it in your waterline, give it a second to dry before you go in with mascara or go in with whatever, and it will stay. And so for me, I don't use it on my lower waterline, I use it on the upper, and it stays so well. Like I've got a little bit of transfer on the inner, inner corner, which I just always have, because my eyes are like watery and stuff. But it doesn't transfer down here, and virtually every other <laughs> eyeliner I use does. This is incredible. So I would say it is worth a try if you've been looking for a good waterline eyeliner. I obviously use it on my lid too, you know, like as my, regular liner too, but it's so good. You can use it with a brush and kind of like blend it out if you wanna do that and kind of smoke it out. Very, very good. I have it in the shade Legend. The liquid liner, by the way, I just threw on today is from Revolution. It's their like Renaissance Flick liquid liner. I love it. It's cheaper, it's from Ulta, but if you were curious what I used. The mascara, I'm only mentioning one. Y'all, I could name like 15 really good Sephora-like mascaras, but this is one again that's been hyped up recently and y'all, it is worth the 
hype. I think it makes your lashes look so volumized, so curled, it does not smudge, it does not flake, like it is just really pretty. I do think there's a little bit of a learning curve with the actual like applicator because there's parts that will deposit a ton of product and then you can kind of turn it and then comb the product through. It only took me like two or three times of kind of messing with it like, okay, this is the best way that I like to apply it, you know what I mean? But it's just amazing and of course, 10 out of 10 on the packaging. Mascara is something though that like, if you have a $25 gift card and you're gonna buy a mascara with it, that's great but mascara goes bad so fast. So it's like, I'd almost steer you towards buying something else that's gonna last you longer than a mascara. And plus there's so many good drugstore mascaras out there. One of my favorites, I'll link below from Ulta. It's like $5 and it is one of the best mascaras ever. So I can save you money there for sure. And it will be just as good. Okay, so lips, I mentioned a lot of Charlotte Tilbury, but y'all, you know it's a favorite brand of mine. This is the Lip Cheat Lip Liner. I have it in a couple shades. This one's in Pillow Talk that I used today. It's just a really good liner, y'all. It stays in place, but it's still creamy. They have so many different good shades, and so that's what I'm wearing and I would recommend. But with it, I put on one of my favorite lipstick formulas. This is the NARS Audacious line. One of the best, just like creamy, but it stays a long time, and it's still moisturizing enough lipsticks and it's been around for a while so i have the shade audrey and raquel raquel is what i'm wearing today and it's definitely a little bit lighter and then i also have audrey which is deeper of course it's more of like a berry both absolutely stunning again it's just the formula of these like this is something that if i had like lost all my makeup and i had to buy a new like i was like all right i want to buy like one lipstick from sephora I would probably go for this line and buy one of these because I just know that the formula is really good and it's what I like. So love those. Another line I would recommend, it's splurgy and very hyped up, is the Pat McGrath lipsticks. These are beautiful. I have it in Realness number 405 and Omi number 107. The Omi one I got in a Sephora kit. So I don't know if you can buy it. I think you can still buy it individually. And then the Realness shade, I feel like I've struggled to be able to link lately. So I don't know if it's not being sold or what, but these are, these are stupid. They're so creamy. This is realness, that's Omi. Just a little bit deeper. They're just so creamy, you guys. They just are, and they stay so well. And I always tell the story when I mention it, because I think it kind of expresses how I feel about it. First time I ever put one of them on was the shade realness, and I was like in the car, my husband was driving. I just was like, oh my gosh. He was like, what's going on? I'm like, <laughs> what's going on over there? And I was like, this lipstick, like I've never used one like this. It's just so, luxurious and creamy and beautiful. Like it's, it is a good one, y'all. So the other lip product I wanted to mention, if you wanted like one lippy to like wear every day, you don't even need a mirror with it, but you still wanna feel like fancy, this one. It's from Gucci and it is the Rouge de Beauté Brilliant in Sally Soft Honey. This is just a super moisturizing lip product. If I run out of this, which I will, because I leave it in my purse typically, I will buy it again in the exact same shade. <laughs> it's just a perfect everyday color. Again, I don't even need a mirror with it. Makes my lips look healthy, but I don't need a lip liner. Like it is good. And it's because it's at least this one is like a lighter color. If I am wearing a mask, I'm not as worried about it getting just all over. You know what I mean? So it's just so great. It feels the packaging is like heavy and mm, I love it. Lip gloss. There's like 16 I could mention here. One that I put on today, so I figured I would at least mention here. The Buxom glosses really are worth the hype, you guys. The Tingle is not anywhere near as offensive as a lot of other ones I've tried. If you don't like Tingle at all, I would not go to the Buxom line because it does have a Tingle. The reason I like it is because I do have lots of lines on my lips. I feel like it makes them look a little less aged and I love that. And most of the colors I can just put on top of a lipstick I'm already wearing. So I put this one on top of the NARS Raquel lipstick and this is the shade Claire. I also love the shade Celeste. It's even more sheer, but it's got a nice like glitter to it. And I don't want the glitter to like scare you off because it's not like a glitter that you can like feel that's like dry and chunky. No, it's just like a really pretty finely milled thing. You can't go wrong with any of the shades. They do a lot of like limited edition Christmassy shades and like fall shades like pumpkin spice latte that are really pretty too. So I love this line and I can't recommend it enough and it is definitely worth the hype. Okay, so I mean, I could go on and on about so many other things, but obviously that's what I do here on my channel. I talk about makeup I love. So if you want to join our little family, I hope that you'll subscribe and stick around. Like I said, go check out some of my drugstore dupes videos. I'll link my playlist. And I do have the videos on there in order from like 
the most recent one I've done and then it gets older as you go down. So you can watch the most recent few and get some good ideas of ways to save even more money. Maybe you got a gift card to Ulta and they do have the drugstore brands there, right? You can get way more bang for your buck over there. There's no doubt about that. But I hope that you enjoyed this video and thank you again, Karma, for sponsoring a portion of it. If you wanna download the Karma Shopping Assistant, I have the link right down there at the top of the description box to download their Chrome extension. And again, they also have an app as well. I love it. I know you guys will love it. And of course it's free, which is, that's I mean, that's awesome and it'll save you money. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.